Welcome to the Watershed Learning Network. In this presentation, you will learn about the history and purpose of the Watershed Learning Network and learn more about navigating the Watershed Learning Network website. The Watershed Learning Network was developed from ideas and materials that were developed in the Atlanta Watershed Learning Network. For the past few years, EcoAction has collaborated with American Rivers, the West Atlanta Watershed Alliance, the Conservation Fund, Park Pride, the Atlanta Community Improvement Association, and the Metro Atlanta Wat Urban Watershed Institute to build capacity and develop leadership for green infrastructure in the entrenchment and Proctor Creek watershed communities. This work evolved and led to the creation of the Atlanta Watershed Learning Network. The Atlanta Watershed Learning Network is bringing together people from two of Atlanta's most impacted urban watersheds, Proctor and Entrenchment Creeks, that both begin in downtown Atlanta, where concrete sidewalks, roads, buildings, and parking lots prevent water from being absorbed into the ground. During heavy rain events, the water flows into nearby neighborhoods, causing flooding issues throughout communities. Led by EcoAction and the West Atlanta Watershed Alliance, residents are gaining knowledge about the causes of stormwater flooding, the health and economic impacts of flooding in their communities, and how they can be empowered to advocate for sustainable solutions to these problems. The sense of community and energy generated by the Atlanta Watershed Learning Network inspired the organizers to expand the impact of the educational program and create the Watershed Learning Network. The collective purpose of the Watershed Learning Network is to develop a diverse learning community where participants have the materials needed to learn about, one, problem solving for water quality and stormwater issues from a holistic, sustainable, and resilient perspective, two, restoring and protecting ecological health of urban watersheds, three, promoting resilience to climate change in urban watersheds, four, creating conditions and opportunities to improve the quality of life of residents in urban watersheds, five, equity facilitating equitable relationships between community stakeholders, both public and private, that nurture cooperation, collaboration, and partnership for projects integrating blue, green, and gray infrastructure to address flooding, and six, promoting city watershed programs devoted to sustainable solutions to water quality issues in urban environments. To access the Watershed Learning Network, please visit wln.ecology.uga.edu. To access the learning modules, navigate to the Learn tab and you can access the individual learning model modules by scrolling down to the appropriate link. We have attempted to design the WLN so you can watch or download a single module, or you can complete the WLN program by watching or reviewing all of the modules. If you would like to learn additional information about urban watershed ecology, water infrastructure, watershed management, and the governance of urban watershed, we will be posting student-developed articles through the blog approximately every six to eight weeks. We have also created a section of the website devoted to people interested in building their own Watershed Learning Network training program. We have included links and documents to support team building and group discussion, materials from the original Atlanta Watershed Learning Network, and other useful documents and links in this section of the website. If you are interested in creating a watershed learning network in your own community, interested in learning more about programs and resources available for work in urban watersheds in other cities around the U.S., or interested in learning more about the educational materials on the WLN website, please visit the contact page. We have provided the contact information for the appropriate groups to address specific questions about the WLN.